Hey there YouTube, this is Mr. Weissman4 and welcome back and today I wanted to do a real quick video on how to do what some people might know about, some people might not know in Star it's called Selective Farming. And this is actually pretty easy, so what I'm going to do is show you guys how to do it. It's First of all, you need a lot of silk for this because you have to catch birds, which is kind of annoying, but you gotta um, go in here and make what's called a bird trap. I haven't done it yet in this fi file, so I'm going to prototype that first. Makes you bird trap, there it is. Then, we're going to set the bird trap down, right there. And you want to bait it with something to get these guys to fly on it quicker, because they will take forever to get on there. So put some seeds on there or something, and they'll go into it. And then you just basically wait until you can catch a bird. doesn't matter what kind of bird you do for this. Any of them will work. So, we just got to wait and see what happens. <clears throat> In the meantime, while we're doing that, I think what I'm going to go do is explore some of my map. I can actually, if you guys are interested, start doing some Let's Plays on these as well. Just to show off what I've been doing myself. And maybe getting a whole adventure mode thing going. Because I haven't had a chance to do one of those in a while. And I'd like to with some of the new updates as well as go f deeper into some of the ruins. Also, if what you guys have noticed is that... I'm going to show you here. I keep entire, t oh, and we caught a bird, but I keep entire chests of rabbits. I don't kill the rabbits. There's a reason for that, because come winter, you don't get your naughtiness from killing them all, and the food doesn't spoil that way. So it gives you a kind of a good way to save food for winter. Um, okay, so we caught our bird. Let me set this back down. We'll just leave it there. Eventually, sometimes they'll just land right on it. It can take a little while, but... So we have our bird. Now, what we're going to have to do is go into food. Is it food? No, wait, oh. Never mind. What we're going to have to go into is structures. Down here. See a bird cage? I'm going to need papyrus for this, which I do not have yet. So I'm going to go grab some of that. And then we can go ahead and make our bird cage. I need to find a swamp first. I haven't done that yet. Oh boy. Well, I will be right back after I find myself a swamp. And then... We'll go ahead and make our bird cage. Let me put my crow in this box with all his rabbit friends. He can just he can stay in there. That's fine. Put that there, put that there, and we're off. Um, well, uh, maybe not a good idea to go out this time of the day. Eh, it'll be fine. We'll handle it. Come on, Chester. Let me get this carrot up here. Probably shouldn't be bringing all my silk with me either, but that's fine. If you guys haven't noticed, I play as Woody a lot nowadays. I mean, I really like Woody. I think he's, um, of the characters, he's one of the best ones now. The, um, whole Woodchuck Beaver thing can kind of get annoying sometimes, but you get used to it. Trust me. You can have that. I don't need it. Get in there. That's where I keep all my tools in Chester most of the time. So let's go around here. Just getting myself some food to bring with me for, um, if I'm out here for a while. But yeah, finding papyrus is kind of a pain in the butt sometimes if you don't have a uh, swamp right near you. And vice versa for some of the other supplies. If you get a biome with like nothing or a biome without beefalo, which really sucks, then you're kind of on your own. Kind of leaves you high and dry there, but I have a lot of beefalo this time. A lot of, a lot of berry bushes too. Run, little rabbits. Run for your souls. Hi there, Mr. Beefaloo. Oh god, they're in heat. Some people immediately go back to base at this time of the night. And they just, like, light their fire and sit there. To me, that's, like, such a waste, because you can still see what you're doing for the most part. So you might as well just, like, continue traveling around and exploring and doing things during the evening hours. So that during the day, you feel like you got more done. I'm trying to make a new garland, by the way. That's why I'm collecting all the flowers. And that's... This is one of the rings of the, uh... Of a, one of the wooden piece pieces that I found. You use those for adventure mode if you haven't found that out already. 
I can actually do a video on finding all of those if you want. And the, well, they're not really used in the main game. What you use them for in the main game is transporting yourself to another world to reset the world if yours gets too difficult from being alive for too long. It's actually really helpful if your game is very old, but mine is not, so I don't really need them. Come on, the swamp should not be this difficult to find. Really shouldn't. I want to find this before it becomes winter, because otherwise I'm going to have a real problem when I try to do this video. That would not be good. At all. This is my other touchstone. That I have. Currently. Let's come up this way. I don't know whether anybody's ever gotten the whole, um... Pigs on the stick reference. It's from a book. Let's see, um, Lord of the Flies. If anybody's ever read it, it's actually a good book. But I figured I'd put that little literature note in there for those who may not have read it before. But yeah, it's it's from the Lord of the Flies. It's kind of a kind of a classic, actually. Oh God, why did I pick that up? Those rabbits can stay in there. I don't need any of them. I have a ton of carrots. So that's the thing, like, with selective farming, if you get tired of growing carrots constantly, not that they're a bad thing to grow, I mean, they're really good, but if you get tired of doing that all the time, that's the nice thing about having um, selective seeds for farming. You can pick what you grow and not waste your farm's time growing something you don't want when you could instead be growing like pomegranates or something that's like really good. I wonder if these are in heat the same as the other ones. I think they all go in at the same time. I'll know very soon if he tries to attack me. Maybe not. Oh, and we found the box thing. Pick up the box thing. You can have this. Like I said earlier, these things are for leaving this world if I want. Hi, pig. Yeah, I did find a pig village. I'd forgotten I found this up here. Chester is stuck. Fantastic, he'll, he'll get out of there eventually. If you guys were wondering why I have the Rocky Terror for me, watch one of my other videos on how to make a cobblestone road. It's really helpful. And, uh... Oh, dear lord, I found mandrakes. Gotcha, you little bugger. These never spoil. They're like the greatest thing ever. And now he's gonna follow me around. And bounce everywhere. Stop it! Go away! I have not found Mandrakes in forever playing this. And what the heck happened to Chester? Uh oh. That's not good. Get away from them. Well. I still have not found a swamp biome yet. Come on, Mr. Mandrake. Run this way. Mer, mer, mer. Oh, I hear Chester coming back. Yay! Great success, Chester. You're back. Go this way. Why is there random wood up here? And bees. Stingers. Getting there. We have a whole whole big old party going here now. Fantastic. Stop making that noise. Get over there. I'm just gonna leave you. Oh, that's the stone. But yeah, I have basically, like, Spider City up here to the north. There's a reason why I didn't build my base up here, because, as you can see, this is where I get all my silk from. Yeah, Mandrakes will do this forever and ever and ever. All night long. And you can't hit them. What have I done? Good point. What have we done? I have no idea, but it is a nuisance. What you can do, too, is actually feed, in selective farming, you can actually feed these stupid, annoying, singing buggers to, fall over, come with me, to, uh, birds, and get mandrake seeds and actually grow yourself more of the annoying little buggers. Now, the rate at which they poop out the seeds, actually, for the mandrakes, I'm not exactly sure off the top of my head. I know it's not high, so you can sometimes give them one and you won't get any seed back for it. Or you'll only get one seed back and it just ends up basically is like rinse and repeat kind of. And you'll never get a new thing. Want to make sure I have enough gold to make this thing. The, they cost two papyrus, 
six gold to make a uh, birdcage out of it's under structures and two seeds. I just want to make sure I have enough seeds, I mean, uh, gold on me to make it when I actually do find the papyrus, if I can find any. This video may not have been a bust after all, guys. It's getting a little bit long here for me to keep going. I will make another video once I find this swamp biome so I can continue the selective farming tutorial that I planned on doing with this. But it wasn't a bad video after all because I did get to find mandrakes and show you guys what they're like and all that stuff. They're really irritating, if you hadn't noticed. I can't stand them because they beep and they boop and they bop and they jump everywhere. And they're really irritating at night. Worse than Chester, even. And I mean, Chester gets on my nerves, too, so. Well, that's it for this episode, guys. Like I said, I'm going to continue my search for a swamp biome here. And I can make videos on anything else and don't starve that you guys want to see about. I normally throw a link to the video in the app as well. Almost anything you could possibly imagine of, on how to do and don't starve is in the app. I'll see y'all back here in a little bit when I make my next video. It'll be a tutorial definitely on how to make the birdcage and do some selective farming. Just show it off a little bit. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Stay tuned and check out some of my other videos and definitely try out the app, guys. It'll definitely help you survive. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.